Hey guys, it's Holly. Welcome back. I hope you are having a great holiday season. In today's video, I want to share with you easy sides for holiday dinners. I really love hosting and entertaining during this time of year. I mean, I enjoy it all year long, but there's something about the holiday Christmas season where it's even more fun to have people over for dinners, for dinner parties, but it could also be a lot of work. And that is why I love having some easy side dishes to make to go along with my turkey, ham, or roast dinner. So I'm gonna be sharing with you two easy sides you can make in my air fryer. Now, first of all, in order to make these recipes, you're gonna to have to own an air fryer. I highly recommend owning an air fryer. I've had mine for a couple years now and I use it all the time, not just for side dishes, but sometimes main course. I actually have a simple chicken recipe that I will use sometimes for dinner as well. It is just a fast, easy way to make stuff and everything always turns out great. Also, because it's the Christmas season, I highly recommend air fryers as a Christmas gift. If you know of someone that does not already own one and you're looking for a last minute Christmas gift, I recommend getting them an air fryer. It's such a great gift. There are so many different things you can do with them. Anyways, let me get into it right now and share with you my easy side dishes for holiday dinners. This is the air fryer that I own, the Kasori air fryer, and I will have a link for this air fryer in the description box below. I have been so happy with this one, with this brand, highly recommend it. Starting with my first side dish here, I'm gonna be doing roasted carrots. I will be using a pound and a half of baby carrots. You can use regular carrots if you want, but like I said, I'm trying to make these recipes easy and there's nothing more simple than using baby carrots fresh out of the bag. I will rinse my carrots and then I'm going to pat them dry. Get them as dry as I can because in order to get a nice toasted look from the carrots, you will want the carrots to not be so damp. Then in a medium sized mixing bowl, I'll pour my carrots in here. Then I will coat them with olive oil. Now I do not measure the olive oil. I just eyeball it and try and get it all over. Mix them up while coating them all in the oil. And then I'm going to season them with garlic salt and black pepper. And again, I'm not going to measure anything, just sprinkling it, basically salt and pepper to taste, however much season you prefer. And then I will mix that up real good. And that's it. It's ready to go in the air fryer basket. I will dump it in and then the nice thing about air fryers is they all have handles and you can shake them and just get everything mixed. I'm gonna stick it into my air fryer and I'm gonna cook this at 400 for 12 minutes. And once the 12 minutes are up, I will take them out and you can see they got a little cooked but still not enough. I'm gonna mix them up and cook them again at 400 for an additional eight minutes. And once that time is up, a total of 20 minutes, you can see that they are cooked, they're nice and tender. Honestly though, I like them a little bit more toasted, so I'm gonna stick these back in for an additional two minutes. And that is the beauty of the air fryer. You want it a little bit more cooked, you could just pop it back in and it's easy to keep an eye on. Then I'm gonna get out a serving dish, dump them in, and there you go. I have my side dish that was so quick to make and it will make a great addition to any holiday dinner. This is by far my favorite way to make roasted carrots. I find that cooking them in the air fryer actually turns out much better than cooking them in the oven. Now for the roasted potatoes in the air fryer. I like to use the yellow golden potatoes. Those are my favorite kind. You can use whatever kind you want. For this recipe, I am using six medium sized yellow potatoes I will get them washed and rinsed. You can see here that I just chopped them all up into little cubes. And just like the carrots, I'm going to put them in a medium sized mixing bowl and coat them with olive oil. Again, I'll just eyeball it. No need to measure out anything, just enough to coat it so that way all of the potatoes get covered up. Then I'm gonna be using the same seasoning, garlic salt, 
black pepper, as well as rosemary leaves. I love seasoning my roasted potatoes with rosemary. So I'll get it all seasoned and mixing it up, getting it all well coated. And then it's ready to go in the air fryer basket. For the potatoes, I also will be setting my air fryer at 400 and cooking it for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes is up, you can see that they're already starting to toast up. I will pull them out, give them a good shake, stick them back in at 400, cook them for an additional five minutes, then pull them back out again, give them another good shake. Last, stick them in for an additional three minutes. And after that amount of time is up, you can see that they are nice and toasty. Toasted. This is how I like my roasted potatoes. If you prefer them to be even more toasted or less, you could adjust the cooking time. As long as they are tender inside, then they are done. Put them into a serving dish. This will be a great side for any holiday dinner. We enjoy these roasted potatoes so much that we have them as a side for a variety of dinners year round. Another thing that is great about the air fryer is there's no preheating the oven. Sometimes just preheating the oven alone takes so long, but overall it is so nice to just free up your oven. If you are in the middle of cooking something else, you can just use the air fryer to make up your sides. So again, I highly recommend getting an air fryer if you don't already have one. As well, I recommend them for a great Christmas present. I do hope that this was helpful and that it might've given you some new ideas for how to make some easy side dishes for your holiday meals or year round meals. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching and may you have a beautiful holiday season.